Hello and welcome to Webdev Mentors YouTube channel and you're watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video, we're going to see about the third conditional statement, which is the if else if statements in Java. So we've already seen a theoretical explanation about the if else if statement. So if you've missed it already in the conditional statement video, then let's have it again. So in the if else if statement, the respective code block will be executed if the condition is true or the next condition will be checked ultimately leading to the else block if stated. So unlike an if else statement where you're going to check for a condition and if the condition is true, then the codes within the if block will be executed. If the condition is false, then the codes inside the else block will be executed. But it won't give you an option whether you want to check for another condition. That is where the if else if statement gives you an option to check for multiple conditions. So if the if block condition is not satisfied or the if block gives you false as the value, then you would be checking it again with an else if statement. So even if all those statements or all those conditions are false, then you can define an else block where a set of codes can be executed if all the conditions are false. So you have multiple options with the help of if else if. So I'm going to write a program to actually explain it in a programmatic way. So I'm going to open my Eclipse IDE to write the program. First, I'm going to create my class file is the demo file so if else if so my class is created I'm going to create my main method like static void main string args. so unlike the last couple of uh, programs where I've checked for the largest of the two numbers or the greatest of the two numbers here I'm going to use actually the string value in order to check and also in this we're going to check with something that is related to our channel so i'm going to check if the viewer is going to be a subscriber or a non-subscriber or we don't have data about the subscription of the viewer so i'm going to create a string named as status of viewer is equal to i'm just going to Call it as subscriber as of now. So if you're a subscriber, then this is great. So I'm going to first check if my viewer is a subscriber or not. So instead of using the double equal to, which is the equal to operator in string, you can use the equals. So I'm going to use the same subscriber in here. So I've checked if my user or the viewer is a subscriber or not so if he's a subscriber then i want to print out system.out.println thank you for watching and watching and please like and share the video so that's actually going to check if my viewer is a subscriber and if he's a subscriber then it's going to print out thank you for watching and please like and share the video so what if he's not a subscriber then we can simply use the else but i have another problem that i don't know whether if he's a subscriber or a non-subscriber so i'm going to use else if i'm going to check the status viewer yet again with sorry equals ignore case is a method where you can check for two strings irrespective of the capitalization so it won't look for the capitalization so it's going to convert your string into lowercase and then compare it with your another string so we're just going to use non subscriber so as of now with my status of viewer already being defined as subscriber we will be getting this as the value printed out as an output so still we're just going to actually use it later on I'm just going to change the values later on so thank you for watching please so here I'm going to add please subscribe to the channel and please like and share the video so okay I have clearly defined for subscriber and non subscriber so I have one more problem that I don't know whether the viewer is a subscriber or a non-subscriber. 
so that's where I use else so I don't know none of these conditions are satisfied none of these conditions gives me true so I go into the else part where I'm going to actually print out thank you for watching please visit a channel subscribe to the channel and please like and share the video so we're going to check for two conditions so if the two conditions gives me false then we're going to go into the else block where it's going to print out thank you for watching please visit our channel subscribe to the channel and please like and share the video so as of now it's going to check for status of viewer and we have defined subscriber as the value for it so i'm going to run it and it's going to give me the output thank you for watching and please like and share the video so if you're a subscriber this is the message for you and now i'm going to change the value to non-subscriber so when it is checking it's going to go into else part so i'm getting the value thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and then please like and share the video so i've added the please subscribe to the channel in here so that's also added to the output so i don't know just a viewer okay so now it'll be going into the else block where you'd be stating that thank you for watching please visit our channel subscribe to the channel and please like and share the video so viewers might be from facebook or google plus who are watching the video and they cannot actually directly subscribe to the channel so they have to come to youtube and subscribe so these three options can be given so there is one little constraint that you have to think about so if it is subscriber then it's going to give it as a true for this condition then it won't check for these two block of codes so it's going to skip through this part after printing out this line and go after this area so after printing out this line it's going to directly come to this line where i'm actually having the cursor so it's going to skip through else if and else part so if this is false then it's going to come to the also part where it's going to check the status of viewer and if it is non subscriber then it's going to print out this line and once it prints out that line then it's going to skip out the else part and come to this line so if these two conditions are false then it's going to print out the value within the else block so else block is the only thing that will be executed if these two conditions are false so it's not that you can use else if only once you can use else if any number of times it can be used any number of times irrespective of what values you get you can check multiple times you don't have a constraint on this is the number of times you can check so you can check for any number of times so that actually ends the program and also ends the video thank you for watching the video and if you like this video please hit the like button and also share it with your friends and family and if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel there is a lot of videos coming in and there's also a python series that has been started so please have a look at that if you have not learned python already so if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or on our google plus page facebook page or in the twitter feed and you can also contact me personally through my social links that is also available in the video description section so thank you for watching this video have a great day